Okay. Another mission is down. Again, I'm potentially, potentially avoiding all the other missions that are kind of like... Oh, and Teba gets his, his second ability, his second range attack. Thank you! Special attack gauge, plus one for Teba now. Finally! A worthwhile investment. Oh, and, uh, oh, we got this guy here. Yunobo, bonus combo, yes! We're getting all the heroes combos today. I think that gives us, I think, our first combo that actually deals with Lightning Shield. So that actually is not bad for him at all. Uh, head to get the bonus combo. Yeah, why not? We're not worried about that. Hetzo is back on the dock, isn't he? But he's, like, not important to the story at all. <laughs> Sidon gets a bonus combo with a Lionel Trophies, no less. Goodness me. And Booyah ends his optimism. Good. <laughs> Means, uh, Sidon's just gotten better. And we need... Obosis combo needs to go up, but... We don't have... What is that? What do we need to look for here? But goblin trophies. Oh man, we're, we're gonna kill goblins like crazy. Anti-lightning training at level one. <laughs> uh, let's see. What can we do next for a mission? Uh, I'll get this. The uh, the special combos for Link here. Doing anything like that actually increases it. Uh, the rubble up with the Klua and everything. So that's good. Um. I guess we can do more of a side on. We can do a side on mission, I guess. No healing and level 30. Let's see, you get uh, hardy rashes for that one. That should not be too bad. What's over here? In the clutches of the Yiga clan. Goodness me. Man, I thought the Yiga were done for. And we keep finding more uh, missions. We keep finding new missions that are just dealing with nothing else. So, about this one daily drills. Mipha's had enough fun on the timeline. Well, let's see about, um... Against the Daily Grooves, against the Gerudo. Let's see, who can we want to fight with? Ah, eh, Daruk, why not? Daruk needs some love. And he's with his level 1 weapon. He's at level 34, which is not bad, but he also got the Stone Smasher, which is level 28. We're gonna need more money if we're gonna get him up, though. So... More money for the- Oh, we're out of- we're out of eggs! No! Okay. Fine, fine. We'll get the experience bonus for him. Alright, Druk. Time for your daily deal deals of this one. Take on Arbosa and get the daily drills out of here. Go, Daruk! Daruk is now ready to roll! Take on the Gerudo! Ha <laughs> ha! You can't handle the Daruk. Technically, the the Gorons are actually no. That was that was the one thing about was weird about the uh, the about Breath of the Wild is that Link was not allowed to go inside the Guru Town without you know disguising himself. Like, but you saw, but you could able to see Gorons inside Guru Town. You know, even though the I guess you know it, it's such a weird thing. You know, it's funny. We've actually never seen a female Goron in the series at all. So that's. I don't know. Maybe we'll find. Maybe there'll be. Maybe there's some hidden lore with that one. You know, I don't really see much. No, not a lot of Zelda theorists actually. You know, dealt with that type of thing. You know, they always deal with, well, what's the calamity or where's the timeline placement? And like, oh, how about we learn about some of the some more of the races that we know that we know of? Or like the Goron just seem to be like the the one race that everyone just seems to accept and doesn't want to fight them. You know. So like, the Grudo's like, yeah, you guys come in here, you guys can trade some good jewel. You know, you know, that's probably why. The Grudo are, you know, the Grudo just want more jewels for their, uh, for their, uh, weapons and whatnot. And heck, you know, having a business trade with, the uh, with Gorons? That's probably beneficial to, you know, to both parties, you know? That's probably what it is, too, you know, because, like, because, like, oh, we can't allow, you know, Hylian, Hylian bows in, but a, Gor a Goron bow? That is perfectly fine by us, you know? <laughs> But, you know, it's... It would be kind of weird that it'd be the one, like, the Grudo... I would imagine that'd be what the Grudo would basically become friends with, is the Gorons first. Just for that reason alone. <laughs> and now you're gonna chew on this, Gerudo! 
Happy slaps. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to roll. Have a magna bomb to the face. <laughs> I'm here for my rock roast. I heard you guys had some over here, but you guys are holding me back. You said I had to do a trading mission with you guys just to get the rock roast. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Let's go. Ow, ow. Hey, stop hitting me like that, you. Oh, come on, you. You're going down. Oom ba oh, oh, no. Ow. Get some healing up there. There we go. And now we do <laughs> a Goron Slam. <laughs> you have to take out the... Oh, we got to go down this way. Man, I feel like I've just been here before. <laughs> now, if you were just playing Tears of the Kingdom, that's right. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yeah. You guys have no chance against the mighty Daruk. And now, rock to the face! Booyah! And now I take on one more captain. And they're both sides, our last final opponent. You're not sexually like a flash of lightning. Don't try to take my stream titles away from me, Urbosa. That's my job. <laughs> there we go. Boom, boom. This is a, you know, this this mission is technically a time warp mission, really, to be honest with you. But, you know, we don't worry. We, we, we don't that know that, you know, the robot is just opening up portals for us to dive in these alternate dimensions. That's simply what these are, alternate dimensions. Because the story beat missions are taking place, you know, in the real timeline, and all these side missions we're taking are all just, you know, alternate dimensions of one Hyrule all together. <laughs> nice. Level 28 for him. Nice! Daruk leveled up quite a bit with that one. And there's Revali with a Traveler's Bell. <laughs> Alright, Daruk. You helped out with that one, but we need to help with the other one. You need some more you need more action. What mission can we tackle next here? Ooh, hello. Gain the ability to remove a seal if you don't like him. What can you do with that? So if you have a seal that activates on a weapon, but it's not good enough for you, like if you don't have one that's matching, then now we have the ability to remove seals now. If you so choose, that is. Uh, let's see here. Daruk attack on the missions here. Why not? The Coliseum. Daruk found the Coliseum and was like, yeah, I'll take these guys on. So let's tackle these guys. No healing. Oh, sorry, we have no healing. Items appear in time limited. So it's only by heart to your... Uh, your apples can only heal you this time. This mission is basically a very slow mission. Oh, I really should be. No, if I do that mission, I gotta have someone better. Like Daruk, you are high. You're good enough level. I'm aware, but <sighs> sight on, you're up. <laughs> Won't let me down. Good, because you're gonna be you're gonna be fighting these guys in here. They're all rock types. Uh, let's see. I need to find what else I need to get here. Um, let's dive right in. special charge rate up and uh, more damage. That'll work for us. Let's take out a Coliseum. Now these missions. Uh, this is this is only beginner. There is immediate and expert as well. All right. Now we're dealing with the Coliseum. As I said before, it's uh, medium and expert as well. You guys have to defeat both enemies within the span of six minutes. <laughs> it is I, Sidon! I have come from the future! Or this is the, or this is the current timeline now, and just Sidon just went into the Coliseum and decided to fight. There we go. And ultimate! The ultimate abilities! Oh boy. Now I can actually climb up on you, oh boy. Swing in the midst! We're gonna go golfing! Oh, I missed. Can't believe I missed. Sidon's <laughs> not the. Sidon <laughs> was. Sidon invented golf, apparently. <laughs> oh boy! Come on, Sidon! You can take these guys down. You take out. You have to take out. Uh, you have to take out Hinox too while you're at it. There you go. That's what you need to do, Sidon. Ultimate optimism. And yeah, man, Tiles are just more defensive enemies all together. You just have to really hit them right where it counts. There we go. There we go. Another bomb. There we go. If you actually finish out Sidon's bomb combo, he gets a better bomb to end it all. 
Hit that rock. Make sure he knows what's doing it in. He can't last out of this one, can he? Oh, Sidon ripped him. I wish the camera was in a little bit better spot, but, you know. I'll take it. <laughs> I think the harder mission of the Coliseum here is mostly like a, you have to fight against a Lionel and Malice versions. And swing and hit. There you go. And we're off to his arm. Oh my goodness, Sidon, you took down his weak point gaze like nothing else. <laughs> yeah, Sidon has this in the bag. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Nope. Ow. Hey. I couldn't move. How dare you? Well, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a try into the face. And ultimate optimism. Oh, didn't get his weak points down enough. Come on, you Hinox. And freeze. And slam him right in the eye. And he's gonna that Hinox can't last that long. Oh goodness me, he's still alive. How dare you still alive, Hinox? How dare you? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna swing around. Oh, I didn't get in time. And ultimate optimism! There we go. Booyah! Oh boy. Glory Rush! He ain't last against that. Now finish him off, Sidon. Finish him off. Right in the eye. Hinoxes are just the have the worst evolution in Majimo, and like they have the one eye, and it's like, is it that eye gets hit, they're basically dead. <laughs> but yeah, there are harder versions of this stage later on, which you'll get intermediate and expert, and you have to go against Lionels. <laughs> and basically Malice uh, versions of the enemies too, which we'll be getting to later. Those things are horrible to fight against. Hate those things with a fiery passion. And we'll hopefully get to maybe one more mission out of this, and then we'll get to the story beat. I think that would work out well for this potential portion. Oh, look at that. There's Intermediate. Intermediate Coliseum. What do we have to fight there? Style enemies. And they're level 40. I am not going to mess with that. Oh, Herowith. I am not touching those. Those missions, you can only die in one hit and you die. <laughs> Bring your best warrior into that one. No, uh, which is not Sidon at the moment. Um, let's do the one that uh, Sidon had to deal with here, escorting the injured. He has to take on a Lionel. Why not? And we'll bring in this one. It's a kind of random set of missions. Yes, I'm aware, but this will give us uh, some more hardy salmons. Would be nice. And Sidon needs to uh, escort another injured, and he's a uh, person to do it. So let's give him the extra special attack range charge because he's going to use his abilities really nicely. There we go. Marvelous. And let's go take on a Lionel. Another one indeed. Zoom. Alright, Sidon, time to escort that injured home. Well, meanwhile, <laughs> in the meanwhile, in the time board mission of this ultimate wor world, made by the robot, there is a, a Zora got injured. Sidon came in to help. So we have to head for Zora's domain, but that also means we have to fight against more bosses. Now I'm seeing, but oh, that that's a cool design for a uh, for um, what was it for a, a glider and whatnot? I don't think that's actually in the game. I don't think that's in Tears of the Kingdom, which is why. Why didn't Sidon have a glider to use? Like that would have been cool. Hyrule Warriors got all these different gliders for everyone who's involved. Like why don't we have those? You know, again, you can get gl different glider designs in, in Tears of the Kingdom, which is kind of a nice feature. Because, again, sometimes you might get tired of the old design, and... I just want the one that's, like, that makes it almost a transparent. Can we just have one that has the, the invisible glider, you know? <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to have. <laughs> a lot of Zords are injured today. Ow. You just kicked Sidon! How dare you! Sidon has to keep up appearances, man. If he's gonna be look like he's gonna look like crap, man, no one's gonna marry him. Goodness me. There you go. Stab him right in that mob button, right in the back. <laughs> Alright, come on, Sword Captain. You need to stop attacking everybody and just keep moving on. This thing needs to die. 
Ooh yeah. Don't want that around. Hey, you need to die, obviously. Again, escort missions are very horrible. Just because the AI is is programmed to actually fight anything that comes near him. So kill everything around the AI and the AI will move on with his life. It gets very annoying half the time. It's like just kill everything and just let the guy go. Come on, dude. Dude, there's no one here. I need to escort you further. Because again, the AI will not move forward. Oh, there's our blue Lionel. A Lionel here? Prince Titan, perhaps we should take the long way around. No! We have no time for that. Avoid fighting with the blue Lionel. I can take this guy on, no worries. Oh, our gate is loaded up. Okay. Fine. You don't want us to fight the Lionel? Fine, we'll move the other way where there has more enemies. <laughs> I think you can actually kill that Lionel if you really wanted to, but hey, I'm gonna follow the easier route. Why not? Take all these guys out. And I think the Lionel actually follows us, I think. We just have to get more people around us. Then we can take on the Lionel. No ways there. There we go. Oh man, he's a uh, just getting better by the day. Yeah, like he becomes a powerhouse. Like he becomes my favorite character in the in my main playthrough. Like, he became my strongest character aside from Link. And it's just like, just because he just gets, he just because Cyan's, a, a Cyan's attack stream just gets so good. And with enough power level on his weapon and whatnot, Max, like, he can rip the floor with anybody. Like, you do not mess with Sidon. Do not mess with the Sidon. The Sidon, look at that. See that, that, that basic uh, optimism combo? A big, huge crowd saver. Come, where is my guy? Stop fighting enemies. You are injured, buddy. Escorting well. Look, guys, you're supposed to be injured. Why are you fighting? No. Move. No. I said move. Don't look at the Lionel. You said not look at Lionel. And so we're avoiding the Lionel. <laughs> Again, I just... Sometimes that's what happens with AI in general. It's just like, oh. Like, you, still, you will fail a mission because the, uh, the AI decided to fight a strong enemy and not actually avoid. A gate is closed. Oh, this is even worse. It's all line up. Oh, actually, no. Line oxes are not bad. Oh, boy. Endless optimism. Endless optimism. Oh, boy. And freeze. I know, Lord Captain, you can't move because a high ox is in the way. And you're gonna die, Hinox! Boundless optimism! Boundless optimism. <laughs> Again, this is... <laughs> oh, Magnetos! Grab it with a fishing rod! And swing it right back in his eye! Ooh, yeah! There you go. Hinox, you're dead. <laughs> go to town. And we're gonna get you... To be destroyed by endless optimism! Rarely do you ever see Sidon sad. Except for when it actually is mentioned about his sister. Because man, I tell you, I know I mentioned that in the last in the last session about him as being being the Lana of the series. A Lana of the Hyrule Warrior series, because he doesn't really get a ha doesn't really get much of a happier end initially, but still. <laughs> I think that's why everyone basically, you know. You know, gravitated towards Sidon as a more sympathetic character. Because Sidon just had the, you know, despite everything Sidon happened to him, he's still like, I'm still going to be the happy go lucky person I've always been. You know, that's all fun for him. You know, he's just, like, he may have suffered loss, but that won't stop him from basically helping his friends. Sidon is just the best Sora. <laughs> Alright, you. I took down a, I took down a Hinox. You guys have no hope to win. Also, this helps us with our uh, Goblin trophies grind, so that actually is good enough for me. Come on, dude! Also, we get to hear Mipha's theme again. Which is, again, Mipha's theme is just awesome. Again, higher Warriors music in general is just great, overall. But, you know, I was I was saying this on, um... I, got, I think it was on my Discord or uh, YouTube post or whatnot. Or maybe it could have been Twitter. I'm just thinking... Well, we can't go anywhere else. We have to take this one down. And bombs away! But I was seeing this on my uh, either Twitter, Discord, or something like that. 
But I think the, like I said, I was a part of the Zelda Chronicles, but I think, you know, a warrior, a warrior style game to handle, you know, the great wars that happen between the Zelda games. I think that'd be a kind of cool way to bring on the, uh, the Warriors Legend, the Warriors series in general, really. I think mean, that'd just be really nice in general, because again, I think that, I think the Warriors games are just kind of the games we need to handle these civil wars, these great wars that, you know, that require de multiple different characters to fight against, you know? I think it just works out in the end, really. And I was just thinking, like, well, we have Tears of the Kingdom, and probably there's gonna be, you know, a, uh, a higher Warriors equivalent, because why not, you know? Bring in more of that money, and basically have, like, the, the imprisoning war or whatnot, you know? Have the imprisoning war, and just have this whole, like, um... Like, it'd be like, Hyrule Warriors, Age of Tears, you know? <laughs> the Age of Tears. I, mean, I would say that wouldn't be bad. You know, I wouldn't mind a, another game like in this genre with the Zelda series. Now, the only question is, will they actually do, like, stuff like, you know, the Mario Warriors series, you know? Have Mario, Luigi, you know? I think that they could do it, you know? They just got these weapons from, you know, Mario and, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. They could take those weapons and make those as the, uh... Oh, goodness, we're almost dead. Hey, I'm almost dead! And I'm out of hearts. That's not good either. Bound is optimism! Lionel's hurt really, really bad. There you go! Oh, he missed. He stopped right, right there to the start. Darn it. Oh, boy. And a bomb in the face! I'll take you on, Lionel. Booyah! Slam him! I gotta keep my distance from the Lionel now. So I don't actually get hurt myself. The next hit, he's probably gonna kill me. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna hurt. But getting nearby him. Freeze him! Oh, I missed! How I dare I miss? Oh no! No! Sight on you died! I knew that was gonna happen. But luckily, we have a checkpoint. That's so okay, round two. How about you take on this, you cursed Lionel? Now I got full hearts. You can't hope to win now. Glory Rush! Booyah! <laughs> no, I just did not get dead because they want to pad out runtime. Why, why would you say something like that? <laughs> I have lectured I have lectured at my disposal. We soon will be able. Thank you, come on, Mipha. You need to come by really fast. It's too bad Mipha's ability didn't really help me to heal myself on that one. Oh, boy. And a bomb in the face. At least I'm invincible in this. Oh, I was. Oh, boy. Nope. Electricity again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. I can't believe I missed that. Goodness me. Hey. You need to be a... Oh, boy. Oh! Flurry Rush! Oh boy! You know, Mipha, it could be good for a help. You know, a help would be nice right now. That'd be nice. Oh, I missed one shot. Okay, that's fine. Oh boy! No! No! You're not taking me down this time, Lionel! Yeah! Hit him hard! Boundless Optimism! Boundless optimism! Booyah! Oh boy. Oh no, no! Oh man, goodness. Okay, to be fair, this is like only a third time dead <laughs> in this game so far, so. Oh boy. Mm. I'll take that. And slam him down! Oh, the other line wasn't showing up. How did you get here so fast? I knew we should have taken that guy down earlier. Oh boy. And boundless optimism! I'll freeze you. I'll keep you down for a bit. I'll take down both these Lionels now. With only one health bar? Yeah, it's gonna be a little tedious. Woo! You can't shoot through the wall, but there's a wall there. <laughs> I watch out for that a Lionel. Oh boy. This is not good. I would not expect the two Lionels to be here. Oh boy. 
How about you freeze? Oh boy. Oh boy. Ugh. No, not my watch. Oh boy. And freeze to death. Oh boy. Get out of there, don't sign on. Get out of there, sign on. Oh goodness. That's not good. Not good at all. Freeze. And bomb the face! Oh boy, I'm a little scared right now. I did not expect the bombs to be- I did not mean the miles to be like this. Oh boy, no. If I get hit again, I'm dead. Me, it would be nice to have a health potion right about now. That'd be nice. Oh, or level up. That'd be nice, too. <laughs> oh boy. At least I'm invisible in that in the, in the mode there. Oh goodness me, this, I did not mean this mission to be that bad. Found this ultimate zone! Okay, move out of the way, side on. Ooh! Found this ultimate zone, go! <laughs> Man, I really should have prepared, for, I should have prepared better for this one. I apologize, folks. The health? Health? Yes! I'll grab his apples. Oh boy! Ugh. Hey, get back in here so I can actually hit you better. Oh boy! And freeze you! Found those optimism. Get back, sight on. Yeah, that guy hurts like a truck. Oh yeah, go go! Oh, man, I tell you, I'm still in the, I'm still in the live here. Ow, that hurt. I did not expect this mission to be this hard, folks, to be fair. Ooh! Freeze him! There we go. And booyah! Boundless optimism! I am not even gonna try that. Woo! I was too far for the bombs to work on that one. Freeze you! <laughs> I'll take that! Down the optimism! Woo! I am not very excited for this mission <laughs> whatsoever. It's like, this is the Zelda mission. Where Zelda took on a took on a Lionel to for training. <laughs> this is the exact same thing. Oh boy. Down the optimism! Ooh boy. Sidon, you can take this on. You got this, buddy. Oh boy. Oh, hello. Found the optimism. And now rip a new one, sign on. Rip a new one. Oh, dang it. One more hit will do that to him like that. Oh, boy. And hit him hard. Oh, the hit the building. Oh, boy. Come on now. Oh, boy. Always oh, going to use ultimate attack. We're going to take this down. Oh, I missed. I'm too, too far away from that. Oh boy, he's gonna shoot electricity. Okay, good. Well, the Zora Captain dies. We're done. We're done in two oh, goodness. Bombs away. Ooh yeah. Was that my special power? I've been right good right about now. <laughs> I had special attack charge up for this very reason. Oh boy, no. Ooh. I hate this mission now. <laughs> Freeze! Booyah! Found this optimism! I wish I had a bit. I wish I. Oh boy! Freeze! Oh, I'm out of charges. Oh no! Fire away! Bombs! Yes! There we go. Found this optimism! Boundless Optimism wins! Oh my goodness, that took a lot longer than I thought. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Only one death. <laughs> that made, that, that the timeline that didn't happen. <laughs> Me if I took the fall. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> I was panicking there for a split second, folks. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's a part. <laughs> I think it's time we get on with that story beat, shall we? I think we're good on that one. Yeah, Zelda, you got some good stuff out of that one. Man, you got some money. That's good enough for me.